child. Don't tell nobody you ain't hear this from me, child. I had to put this on layaway. <laughs> What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy. Back with another Basil Banger baby. I got so much stuff, guys. It's ridiculous. It's now 7:51. And my appointment's at 8. I'm on time. <laughs> so, how y'all like my mask? We got, I got a blingy mask. Where's your mask, Bobby? You got it? Yeah. Where's your blingy one? I can't wear it. She don't want to wear a blingy mask. <clears throat> So I got this mask from the hair store. I know she cute, right? I just wanted a little bling, cause you gotta wear them all day at school. So why not be blinged out? All right, head on in here for this five hour journey. I have to jump on a Zoom meeting. And for our meetings now, you have to show your face. You can't be, you know, have the camera off you gotta show your face but you get in trouble by the principal <laughs> all right let me go on i gotta mask up She didn't have to come. She was like, Mom, why wouldn't I come? <laughs> so, she's so sweet. All right, so, and then I need to log on to a Zoom. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. They got guest Wi-Fi? Yeah. So, let me just log in just to be ready because that starts at 8. It's 7.59. Mm -hmm. But I told them I'll be late because... Oh. Okay guys, so they are about to get started. It is a lengthy process, but um, they just wanna make sure that I'm okay with all the pre-treatment. And I'm on a Zoom meeting at school, trying to multitask. So I'm trying. Okay, she's about to get started. Okay, I can unmute myself now. Schedule the meeting first. Schedule a meeting at the top. And y'all, she being loud. Like, she real loud. Like, she, I feel like she's the only one in the What space. are you gonna call it? Tutorial? But she loud. Like, yelling. 
I don't know if y'all can hear me, but. I don't even think that thing's supposed to be going yet. She didn't even come started, but it's just flowing through. Tutorials are they 30 minutes. You good? Yeah. Thank you. You gotta plug it back in. Yeah. It'll run on battery. I got two more hours to go. That is the iron right here. Where is it? Right there. Um, so what they do, they do a pre-treatment before they even start the iron. It was gonna be steroids, saline, antibiotics. So it's a whole little process. Um, this process is pretty normal. A lot of people, maybe not a lot, but it's like standard. So it's not life threatening. It's not anything like that. And she said <clears throat> people feel the effects at different times. Like my energy may go up a lot. My ice cravings might go away. We're just saying ice just makes me want some ice. It could be a habit now, but we'll see. <clears throat> And I asked if I'll have any adverse reactions, like when I take the pill, the pill does not work and agree with my body. They just don't work with my body. And she says it, it'll be different because it's bypassing my stomach, which is where I have the issues. <laughs> Cause it stops all movement. <laughs> so hopefully I won't have that problem cause it is not fun and it is very painful. And so, I gotta be here probably about another hour and 40 minutes. Okay. So I was on a Zoom meeting, um, you know, throughout most of the process, planning for the school year, getting it going. <clears throat> Bobby's helping me with one of my Google Docs and then I'm about to take some training courses that are required. So it's just been a lot of stuff to do to prep for school and I would say my classroom is almost and I'm at 70% I didn't put in as much as I did last year and um but it's still it's still cute it'll still do and then I'm gonna go in Saturday to finish up whatever I didn't get done so, you know, that's not too bad. And I'm not sure if we can work online from home or do they want us to work online from school? That I do not know. I don't have a, a, like a metal taste. I don't have that. Let me, let me see if I can prop you guys up here. How's that? Yeah. So then. There's no um, metal taste. There's no metal taste or anything like that. So I'm just wondering if, you know, I'll have more energy. But it's like, I just worked through it. So I was like, maybe I'm just tired. So, I don't, I don't, so I'm hoping that I can tell a difference. But the ice is the major, major thing. And maybe sometimes, um, <clears throat> You know, it can feel a little foggy in my brain. Cause she was like, dude, I was like, yeah, I kind of feel scatterbrained. She said the low iron could be that. And I think that's why I crave um, a simple life so much because it's too much. And I feel like people don't understand. <laughs> so, um, so hopefully this will help a little because my levels are so low. She was like, I don't even know how you are alive, you know, how you're even functioning. So, you know, fingers crossed, I did decline the blood. I didn't do the blood. And child, don't tell nobody, you ain't hear this from me, child. I had to put this on layaway. Mm -hmm. This thing was almost a thousand dollars. That was with insurance. I said, I need a layaway plan mess, but I need this today. <laughs> So, um, I'm on a payment plan uh, for this. Just imagine if I was getting a blood tube, it would have been double the price and blood is probably even way more than the iron. Mm, baby. So, 
the doctor did recommend a hysterectomy because I'm losing so much. You guys have no idea how much blood. Thank God it's not painful. I get minor cramps, but they're not bad. You know, you know, I could pop an aspirin and I'm good. Um, but the amount of blood I lose is it's crazy like probably a bucket a bucket a month and, and he's well what he said he said at my age um he says it's really not worth it to have this quality of life how you're suffering now you're gonna have infusions and blood transfusions that i declined he says what's the point you don't want any more kids you're done with having kids um it's an in and out procedure because they have new techniques now he said you in and out in a day um, they have a new laparoscopic technique and he said you're done so you know why wouldn't you he said it's not a good quality of life this is how you want to live the rest of your life because if I don't get something done then it's just a vicious cycle then I'll continue to need the and at this point I never want to see a period again Who knows? I don't know when no menopause coming I started my period late I started my period late in life so in most cases you have it a little longer I'm done y'all so of course I know I can't afford no hysterectomy so I'm doing um, for the new what is it called the new um, medical cycle you know with my insurance I had to renew I probably should have waited to get this but I wouldn't have the time not a I probably wouldn't have the time to take off to do this. And um, so I'll probably try to see if I could put the hysterectomy. I'm trying to get a layaway plan for that too, child. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try to get that in probably around Christmas time. So I have a two week um, recoup time and just take it easy. But that that's my goal. And I'm doing um, flex spending. I signed up for flex spending, so I took a large chunk of money out, which means my paycheck is gonna be less because it goes on a medical card. So it's almost like a credit card, but they take the money out of your check. So they'll um, take the money out of my check every, every payday. So for 24 weeks, they'll be taking a large chunk out to make up for whatever I signed up for my flex spending because I knew I had this procedure, which won't apply because I didn't wait for September 1st. I just wanted to get it out of the way and I have to meet my deductible. So with that said, um, you know, we all need the dentist. We all, I, you know, I want to go back to the eye doctor. The girl's going to get a new pair of glasses. I need to get my glasses fixed. So I'm just going to wait till September 1st. And then, um, and then use the remainder of the money if there's any left it should be it should be um to apply that to the hysterectomy and then i'll make a payment plan for the difference so i do have a plan i'm on that journey and who wants to be doing rv living bleeding like a, a damaged pig who, that's not you who want to do that not me I know you all may not agree with that choice or that decision, but you know, that's, I'm done y'all. Like I'm so done with everything. I just want to simplify everything, just everything. So, you know, at least I have a plan. It may not be the plan for you and that's okay, but I think that's going to be the route. And the way the doctor explained, he seemed like a really good doctor. He said it's done laparoscopically. You in and out is like quick. And then another friend of mine had it. She was like, it was the best decision she ever made in her life. She was like, I love it. And so, um, but when I looked at the pamphlet, the only thing I didn't like, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm vain or anything. I'm not saying that. But sometimes a sis likes to show a little belly. You know what I'm saying? I just like, <laughs> I like to show a little bit belly. They be putting those little uh, camera things, little dots on your stomach. I think it's like three dots uh-uh can you put them below the belt you know what I'm saying? so that's the update don't worry i'm fine my stuff if i don't take care of it could be bad on the end 
but you know some i take it it's not life threatening but you know if you are severely i was severely severely <laughs> the lady she almost grabbed my hand the hematologist you okay are you, are you dizzy do you do you pass out <laughs> i was like no i'm not and I don't know, I've dealt with it so long that it's part of my normal way of living. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. Just thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So it's like my normal day of life. It's just that I don't know the difference now. So I'm just glad and proud of myself for actually wanting to get better and taking action. And that's another problem I have. I'll let. I'm the type that will never go to the doctor. So I'll probably just not go and die somewhere so i am proud of myself it was a big step it was a huge huge step for me to even make it here so not life-threatening i'm fine and this is kind of like routine stuff i wasn't getting nobody's blood though i was like no thank you mm -mm. Mm. no so, and then you know, it's sad. I think it's sad that sometimes we have to choose our health over not having medical insurance or not being able to pay deductibles, not being able to afford just basic routine stuff. This is kind of basic routine, kind of, sort of. But it's like, if you don't have the money, you're just not gonna get the services. I know there are some free hospitals out there and so on and so forth. You really got to search. You go into the hood for those. I'm, let me tell you that now. Which I don't have a problem with that. But I was like, that's just too much. I just rather not. Of course, if I have a broken arm or something, I don't got no choice. But you know, you get a little rash. You're like, let me go to the let me go to the pharmacy or the, the, the little grocery store in the little pharmaceutical section or something like that to try to fix it yourself. But a lot of people pass away because they do not have health insurance or they think about the bill. I remember when Sydney was a baby, she used to have febrile seizures. She had about five of them. It's a seizure that you get when you're a baby. Not all babies. Um, when your temperature reaches a certain a certain amount. Ooh. What I do, y'all? This hospital. Do y'all this came off? Let me call that lady. Look, I ain't trying to die up in here. This came loose, y'all. I got a button. Bobby, press that button she gave you. Bobby, press that button she gave you. It's the emergency button. I ain't pressing that, Bobby. It's over there. Where? I'll get through once you're done. I'm going, I don't want to be dead. This is supposed to um, determine the flow. Guys, it's not supposed to be dangling like that. I don't want to be dead. Bobby, go get that lady. Pull your pants down. You better put your mask on. Cause this came off, guys. Ow, no. It's not supposed to be like that. I don't know, I'm just curious. This thing. Oh no, that's loose. okay. Yeah, you're okay. This is just the clamp. Right, so I wasn't it sure if it came off. Nope, you're good. Okay. I was Perfect. like, I don't want to die. <laughs> no, you're okay. Girl, you're okay. I was like, it just be going in too fast. No, 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 no. You're good. That If that was to be clamped on, this would be that the infusion wasn't going in. So, yeah, it just kind of dangles. If it's bothering you, I can take no, it no, down. No, you no, sure? No, no, that's okay. fine. All right. But I just thought it was clamped to the... Hey, that's okay, honey. You're just making sure there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't put my mask back on. So anyway, sorry guys. I was like, she, anyway. So, um, yeah, so I just think it's sad that some people who don't have or can't afford medical 
care. Let's just say, I don't know, but there's free stuff. If you really search for it, there's free services um, for just about anything. I don't like talking about people. Sometimes I do. But let me just tell you, one time, the baby daddy, he got robbed, right? And he's in a food service industry. He does fine dining. And he got robbed, and they knocked him down. And when he fell, he fell wrong and broke his arm. I'm like, broke his arm. And um, he didn't have no insurance. So he had to go, I forgot which hospital, some hospital downtown. And he had to have surgery. And they put pins in. And that was for people with no insurance. So I'm like, if you do your research, you could find places to get free health care. But some people don't not probably won't be able to process that and they'll just sit and just die or just sit and get you know yeah get worse because they choose not to seek medical attention because they think they're gonna have an exorbitant bill or um they can't afford it i always say if there's a will there's a way you can find a way so um but honestly, I think if I was sick, sick, and I was in pain, but not excruciating pain, I probably wouldn't go to the doctor. <laughs> Even with one of the kids. When I was growing up, I would tell my mother some drink some water. Water was her answer for everything, drink some water. And it was weird because when I would drink the water, it would work. <laughs> so now, when my, something's wrong with my kids, I'd be like, drink some water. <laughs> So I'm here with my cold water. Look, this ice. Okay, so this is the straw. So this is the straw. I'm trying to block that thing. This is the straw that goes with the cold water, but it, it had to be purchased separately. Connie Child bought me the straw. And um, I did have to cut the straw. I probably got to cut a little more. I had to cut the straw down to fit this bottle. And I do like the straw. Instead of taking the lid off all the time. So this is great. Thank you very much. And I guess this you can hang onto a bag or something. You can hang it on. Which I do like that as well. So make sure you get your coldest water. Look in the description box below. And if you use the 10% off discount. You get a discount if you use Basil. 10% off, honey. You better believe me. I can't wait to get me a bigger bottle, sis. Okay. I'm trying to see if I have like a like an iron taste in my mouth. Um, uh, what does she call it? Um, a metal taste in my mouth. Or metallic. No. So far, so good. It is now 12.30. We've been here since 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. We probably, we probably have another hour and a half to go. So almost five and a half hours. It's just a long process, but I think what helped for me is that I was, you know, on a Zoom meeting. We're still trying to set up lesson plans and stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot. Now, I still have a whole bunch to do, but thank God Bobby is helping me. Because y'all do know I do help Bobby out a lot and then sit huh? and wait for her, huh? I'm talking to Girl, my subscriber. Like oh, so when you drive out to Dallas and Austin, I'm waiting oh. five minutes? Oh, I thought you meant. I thought you, you looking back down at the computer? Uh huh. What was that, Bobby? Huh? But I did be up behind y'all, so. And I don't? So, you know, it is a uh, mutualistic relationship. So, Bobby, what happened when I told you you didn't have to come? I said I was going to go. I was going to let you come by yourself. He's so sweet. And I don't got anything to do, so I wasn't going to let her, you know, just sitting here by herself because, you know, my company is pretty good. <laughs> you ain't even talking to me. You was on a meeting. Oh, I was, right? You want me to get on a meeting with you? Yeah, girl. We all needed help. Oh. <laughs> we got, but, you know. Okay, so, uh, we're done talking no, to no, you. No, 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 no. I, we I don't know what to say. 
So like you know. I'm so here what's with, going on with your hair, Bobby? I'm here with her, so she's gonna help me out finish my hair today. I put um, her, I'm, I'm weak, Bobby. She's lying. She's fine. <laughs> she gonna feel great after this, and we gonna finish my hair. See so, you now, as soon as we get home, I'm gonna set it all up, and we gonna get this taken care of because you know it look a little, look a little rough right now. So I also gotta get my eyebrows done. Her caterpillar, so Bobby got a first paycheck. Oh, God. So it's all about your first paycheck. Yeah. It's better than nothing, Bobby. That's true. The yeah, other shoe, I. <laughs> shoe, I do got money now. So, like, I can spend. Oh, tell him what happened. How did you get extra money yesterday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I work. Um, sorry. So at work, the bartender. So I'm a host. I like, help everybody out, and so you know, I pick up phones and like transfer calls, help the bartenders out, help the waiters out, and so I can help everybody out because with my job, I'm just a host, so I have a lot of downtime, and so sorry. I have a lot of downtime, so you know, I just help people out where I can. And so the bartender at the end of my shift, she was like, Hey, like, if like the hosts are helping out, it's like helping me out, I just like to tip them out too because hosts don't get tips, but everybody else does. So she, she sent me it's like 20 at the end of my shift. So that was really nice of her. Nobody's ever done that, and I barely helped her out. So if I got $20 for doing what I did that day, I could really help her a lot even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's an incentive for you to help her out too. Yeah, I, it's I like if mind. you you wash my back, I wash yours. Yeah, like I don't mind helping her out. It's like my job. Like I have a lot of downtime, so making her job easier wouldn't I wouldn't mind at all. So yeah. I got a little tip from the bartender. Well, she gets tips, and then she just gave me some of her tips. You know. It is very sweet of her. Yeah. But I actually like my job, you know. A lot of my downtime, I just sit there watching basketball because I always have the basketball games on, so it's great. But. So I was proud of her. You know, she got her little first paycheck. She, um, she was excited and stuff. <laughs> So I'm just, I'm just proud of her. And then I'm telling you, I told her, I said, Bobby, you don't have to come with me. She was like, no, I'm not gonna let you go by yourself. I was like, it's not that serious, Bobby. She was like, no. So I thought that was sweet. Sydney, she going on about her business, child. That's what she, she going on about her business. But y'all know, Bobby is my ride or die. That's my little rock. You know, even going up to the school and stuff. She's always there, so I'm very appreciative of, of her, that as well. Of everything, she's a sweet, she's just sweet overall, just sweet all the way around. It's like, I don't really see her moody, or she's sad about something, it kind of breaks my heart. I'm like, who bothered you? Who bothered it, huh? Who messed with my baby? And um, she doesn't get moody, like, never. She's not, I'm not a moody person either. I don't get moody, don't get moody around. I don't know, a lot of people get moody around their period. I don't. Does Sydney get moody around her period? Never always moody. Oh. <laughs> she said that girl always, we call her Moody Judy. <laughs> she get moody, we all go to our room. I can't do moody, I can't do crying, I can't do attitude. It makes my nerves bad. Mm-mm, I'll be done. I don't know, she did something yesterday, Sydney, it just... It was, it was weird. Maybe it was a teenager thing. So, um, Connie Chow sent us some, like, breakfast, quick uh -huh. breakfast, um, okay. like a breakfast cake, Belveda, and one brand is banana bread, and I think the other one is fruit something. It's fruit, and one of Cindy's close, close friends, they're heading, they're leaving for college, and she was like, Mom, can I take, you know, some... I was like, sure, not a problem, you know. And so she took two of the banana breads. I like the banana bread better than the other one. 
I was like, Sydney, just give him one of each. Don't take two of my bananas, okay? So I was like, give him one or each. So she goes back, because we have everything in the garage. She goes back and comes back with nothing. I was like, well, what did you do? No, I'm just not going to take anything. I was like, I said, Sydney, I didn't say no. I just said, just, just take one of each. So he'll have something, you know, at college. You know, I know it gets rough in college. Not these kids. And, and um... She, she was like, no, it's okay. I was like, what? It was, I was just thrown for a loop. I, I, did, I didn't understand it. And it made my nerves bad. I was trying to eat something. <clears throat> I couldn't try to understand it. I just kept doing what I was doing. And then I just had to leave it alone. Because sometimes you're trying to figure out, understand why people do certain things or think a certain way. All it's going to do is make you go crazy or give you an attitude. I let it go. But I didn't. It was weird. I, it was just weird. I didn't understand. I didn't tell her no, she couldn't take it. Just take one of one. Girl, bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to finish this out and try to figure out these um, this online certification that the district has put on us. I did sit my tail down, and I did some other certifications last night which is different from what I'm doing now which is different from this so I have to do both of these both of these it looks like I don't need to do this section and then I need to do one from this one I may have done this one already from previous training so what I have to do I have to go through the trainings that I took on my so I have to go through the trainings that I already did and then see if I completed any of these but I know that first one I didn't I didn't do that because it was too much work mm -mm, I didn't do that over the summer so I did a lot of trainings over the summer I wasn't gonna do trainings that required a ton of work I can attend uh, um, Zoom, I can attend a presentation, but when you be like, oh, I gotta create this, create that, do this, and, they get, and it's an additional four or five hours of work. Uh, no. Guess it caught up with me. <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, so, so, update. We've been here for a little over five and a half hours. But, it looks like she's almost done. There's just a little bit in there. Why you look sad? Yeah. We've been here for a little minute now. Oh, I like that. And she's still she's still on the grind. She's still on the grind. So I guess we'll update. Oh, that'd be great if to make it interactive, right? We'll type on it. I guess we'll update you guys when we're done. But should be hopefully we'll be done in the next like oh. hour or so. But yeah. I'm getting a little I'm getting a little hungry, so we're gonna have to go soon. <laughs> don't put that in there. Just that last face, don't do that. Don't do that. sleep while she got me doing her work. Mm-hmm. I dozed off right now. Yeah, she was off. <laughs> During her Zoom day. But you ain't here for me. <laughs> Just give me five minutes. I'm done. Six hours later, I'm done. She's about to take this out. I'm tired now. You tired, Bobby? Okay, guys. I am finally done. I am released to go home. Bobby's starving. It is now... 2 12. We've been here since 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So we've been here six hours. So 
um, we're gonna go get a, something to share. They're these fries that we really like and we'll go get those and share them. And then I need to get, she wants me to finish her hair, so I'll do a little bit of her hair. Thank you so much. <laughs> you too. And then I'll do a little bit of her hair and then back to school work. Um, there's a lot that I have to accomplish before August 11th or I'm in trouble. So with that said, we're packing up, ready to go. And they said that I should start to feel the difference. It's not always immediate. So maybe in about a week or a week to two weeks, it'll be a subtle, a subtle change that I feel a lot more energy and not as lethargic. So we'll see. So that's it. They gave me purple. I'm rocking with the purple. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for hanging out with me and um, follow me along this journey.